Hey guys, what's up? It's Jordan here. Um, so I kind of want to do a little bit of a video for you guys about a camera that I think if you're just getting into photography um, or if you're looking for a Christmas gift for somebody or a present, uh, I think this is a pretty good start. Um, it's a point and click camera. It's the Canon SX530 HS. <laughs> Um, so this is the first camera I bought and uh, it has a lot of amazing features on it similar to like what a DSLR would be um, so it has a fixed zoom lens uh, it goes from f 3.4 to 6.5 um, but it actually goes up to I think f8 um, so you get some pretty nice landscape photos, you get some really nice bokeh effects, some really shallow depth of field with it. Um, it has three different settings. So you can do macro photography, it has a normal autofocus, and then it has a manual focus. So you can basically focus from like a half inch all the way to infinity, which is nice. Um, it has a zoom lens, so it, got, it has a, a 50 times optical zoom. So it goes from a 4.3 millimeter all the way up to a 215 millimeter, and then with the 50 times zoom, uh, I think if you do the math, it goes I think like 12,000 millimeters. Um, so this is a really good starter camera. Um, it has a lot of the basic functions and features that you would find in a DSLR, um, just to get you started, especially if you're just new to photography and you don't really know how to work a DSLR or if you just kind of want something to bring with you as a travel camera or maybe something to just throw in your car and keep in there and you know kind of if you're driving home and you just want to stop and get a few shots of the sunset or you see something cool um, it's uh, like 250 bucks uh, I actually got this at Walmart so shoots 1080p at 30 frames a second um, but the only bad thing with shooting the videos on these is it's auto, ISO, and that's pretty much it. Um, you don't, you can do manual focus and you can do auto focus, you can do macro videos, um, which is nice. But I really wish that you were able to both use your f-stop and also choose your ISO. But I guess for a digital camera, that's what you get. Um, <clears throat> It has a bunch of different features. You got manual, aperture, shutter uh, priorities. You can do a program mode, so you can program it however you want. Um, it has live view controls, uh, a hybrid auto, which I believe shoots both a seven second clip and the photos as well. Um, you have full auto which I rarely ever use, but for somebody that is new to photography and just kind of wants to get into it, um, that's probably the best option for you. Um, if you want to kind of mess around, I think using either the shutter priority or the aperture priority as a beginner will kind of point you in the direction of how to use a DSLR a little bit easier. Uh, then it has high burst speed, so I think it shoots a continuous at four megapixel images, um, which isn't terrible. Uh, there's some DSLRs that don't even shoot at four megapixels. So then you have your different variations. So you can choose like, uh, let's see what it has. I don't even know how to use my own camera and I bought this thing. So you can choose from like super vivid, you can do poster effects, monochrome, toy camera, miniature effects, and a fisheye effect, all in the lens that this comes with. Um, so this shoots 16 megapixel images. Like I said, uh, it also shoots 1080p at 30 frames a second, which isn't bad, um, especially if you're just trying to get into uh, photography or if you want something to do a little bit of videography with 
Um, it does have image stabilization, so if you're using it on a tripod or like a steady cam, or even if you just have like one of those little monopods that you walk around with, uh, like Peter McKinnon uses and a lot of the other big name YouTubers, uh, then yeah, I think you can get some pretty steady shots with this. Um, I've shot a lot of different things on this and I'll actually throw some uh, video clips and some uh, images into this video just to kind of give you guys a little uh, in-depth you know kind of how it shoots and what you can do with it um, but I would say that this is a pretty good starting camera for anybody that's just getting into photography or just wants something that they can kind of throw in their car bring with them wherever um, and not really have to worry about changing out lenses because I mean I do uh, astrophotography I'm not obviously a professional at that yet um, but I mean this takes some pretty good images of the moon and I mean you get some really fine details out of it too so I can't say that this is a terrible camera at all um, probably not something that a lot of people would pick up just because it's a point and shoot camera, but I think the capabilities of this and the image quality is pretty, pretty outstanding. Um, another thing too is it does have remote shooting with the Canon Connect app, so you can do that. Um, what else? Let's see. Oh, you can get. Um, so right now I have an adapter ring on there, which you can actually get ND filters, polarizing filters, uh, UV filters, whatever you want. Um, this is a 57 millimeter lens, I believe, or a 58. And then it has the adapter ring that goes on here, and then you can get 67 millimeter accessories. If I could take this off shoot some b-roll of it and I'll show you guys um, but I have a an extra there we go I have an extra macro lens and I also have a wide-angle lens that goes on to this so I don't know if you can see it this is a probably aluminum uh, adapter ring they have plastic ones but I would stay away from that um, but I will say that this is a little tough to get it on and off um, so sometimes I just wind up putting it on there and leaving it on there um, it doesn't really hurt anything, especially if you have a problem getting it on and off. It's a little tight. Um, so yeah, um, I'll go ahead and I'll throw some video and stuff up there for you guys. And uh, I'll let you see what this camera is all about. Hopefully this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to link them in the comments. Um, if you want to see me do a more in-depth like uh, video tutorial reviews on this, please let me know. Um, if you have one of these and you're wanting to know how to do something that you haven't figured out yet, um, I can see if I can also help you guys there. So feel free to drop me a comment. Let me know if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And like I said, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Mr. Jordan, I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.